It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Sainsbury's that I'm super, super excited about. I really am. I really am. This is their winter warmer ale. It's in a 500 milliliter bottle, a seasonal edition, 5% uh, ABV, and it's there selected by our ex experts. Oh, well, they, it used to be called Taste the Difference, but they've called it now selected by our experts. I mean, What's an expert? What's a what's a beer expert? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, here's the bottle, um, <laughs> dark dark brown bottle. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, it's made by Hall and Woodhouse in Dorset, England. That Badger Badger Brewery for some of you out there that know and understand the regional breweries of the UK. But why am I excited? The reason why I'm excited is for the first time this year, kind of heading into October 2023, it's cold enough in the bar just to leave my beers out on the kind of sides, the counters, the bar. Um, it's, ch it's cooling down and, and I like the season change. I get excited by season changes. Um, I know it might sound a bit boring to you guys, but... I've loved the lagers over the summer. I've absolutely loved putting all the lagers together, the, the Stella Artois versus Belgian Stella Artois and Cronenberg versus Cron fake Aldi beers versus real Coronas and all of that kind of sort of wonderful thing, Peronis and all sorts. I've really enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed my summer. It's been really pretty decent for the channel as well. Thank you all so much for cho cho tuning in. But we're heading into the kind of the conkers now, aren't we? The conkers season, the, the colder months. You're, you're looking to put a jumper on. I'm in a jumper in the conservatory. It's cooling down. And it's time. It's time now for stouts and porters, imperial stouts, imperial porters, dark ales, winter warmers, ruby milds. Oh, I love this time of year. It's brilliant. So... Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. So it's not just a seasonal change for me on the channel. It's not that it's getting colder. It is that it's getting colder. Of course, it's not just about that, though. It's about new styles of beer that are now going to be kind of hitting the shelves of your bottle shops and your supermarkets. I just hope after that massive introduction and that massive kind of chat that the beer's decent. <laughs> Two finger white head, a dark mahogany coloured beer with good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Looks really good. It does. It looks good. clear badger they, they don't bottle condition their beers they, they, they might on very small small batch occasions but generally badger brewery you're not going to see them bottle conditioning their beers they, they, they're quite a big regional brewer in the uk let's get the aroma oh that smells interesting Ooh. I don't know what's in here for it to for the aroma to be like this. It cost me about one pound eighty, one pound ninety a bottle. Really strange aroma. Look at what it is. It's almost um, almost farty. I'm just gonna taste it because I can't work it. I can't really smell any malt. I can't really smell any hops. It's just this really weird. Like 
I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, it smells terrible. It's, uh, it smells like dog's mess. It does. The dog sleeps out in this conservatory in the night and he's getting old now. And every now and again you come down and you're like, oh, thanks, Loke. You know, you open the door and you're like, oh, God, what's that smell? It smells really weird. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. It must be my nose. I have got a bit of a cold. But not much of a cold that I think I'm smelling dog's mess in a beer. No. I can't work out what that is. It tastes better than it smells, but then the second and the third taste. It's just weird. I'm not sure if the beer's got an infection or something. It's... It's really quite bitter on the back end. Maybe it's like... Spices and stuff that they put in the beer, but it's not worked. It really hasn't worked. It's, it's just like winter spices, but it's it's just clashing with the tinny metallicness of the beer. It's um, one of these beers on a very rare occasion has completely thrown me. I don't know what I'm drinking. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It didn't taste of malt. It didn't taste of hops. It didn't really taste of anything kind of spicy and it is a bit spicy, but this is a complete mess of a beer it really is i was really looking forward to this one i was like oh look at this oh i'm in the mood now for winter and now i'm thinking i'm just going to get the lagers back out um oh it's fig ale with a natural fig flavoring figs oh, it's just weird though i mean if you love figs oh, i don't know It's a really weird flavour. A really weird flavour. This easy drinking fruity beer is brewed using traditional British hop varieties of Goldens and WGV to give an under, understated noble character. This allows the fruity fig notes to give a lasting delicious mouthfeel. And you should eat this with honey glazed sausages. Um, Hey, uh, look, I think I sounded like a football pundit then, didn't I, when I said look? I sounded like Garth Crooks, didn't I? Um, I think this is a really strange flavour in a beer. I know I talk about fig in beer and dark and, and fig and plum and prune and stuff, but this is just like the weirdest flavour I've ever had in a beer. And personally, I don't like it. You might love it. 
you might buy this beer, you might go, oh yeah, this is great, but for me, no way. No, I won't be finishing that one. It's just weird, really weird. Um, four out of 10. Four out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.